Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I am going to talk about how we can actually download an Excel file uh, from an application using Robocop. So in the first video, if you haven't watched, I would suggest you please go and watch the previous video because this is a continuation videos uh, so that by end of this um, whole series, you will gain the uh, enough knowledge in order to clear the first level certification for the Robocop. So I'm going to take up every concept that you need to understand in order to clear the certification, right? So in the first video, we have seen uh, this whole thing. We have built up this whole task and we have seen how we can actually open the browser, input the text and, you know, perform some operations like clicking and also waiting for the particular element. And we have also seen a bit about how um, you can retrieve a selector, how we can actually, uh, you know, uh, find a selector of a particular element on the web page, right? So this is all we have seen in the previous video. If you haven't watched, that's very important in the first part so i would suggest please go and check it out um it will it will be very good very useful for uh, the next sessions okay so now uh, the task is we have to download the excel file before we uh, have to do that let's do small modifications to whatever we have done in the previous so i would uh, recommend uh, building this flow with me so that you will understand the practical challenges that you are facing and do comment it out in the uh, comments i will read it through and if i can help you out i'll definitely reply to the comments okay so once after we open the browser, we are logging in and we are clicking. We are waiting for that particular element. Instead of log out, let's do some activity in the application. So what is it? We have to log in, right? Uh, we have to download the Excel file. But before to that, let's um, introduce, I'll introduce one more, uh, you know, term to you that we are going to use for going forward. So the other thing is uh, just take star and give control space. You will find, get to see something called as keywords okay so we are going to use keywords going forward okay so what is this keywords basically if you're from a programming background or if you have any idea um, working on java or python or any of the programming language c or anything you will be familiar with something called as functions or methods okay there's something called as um calling and uh, method calling or function calling, calling a method or, you know, the definition of the method, right? So what we are exactly doing in the task is it is similar to what we are doing in other programming languages. We can relate it in that way so that it is easy to understand, you know, you can mirror it up. So basically in the task, we are um, giving the, uh, we are calling the function and in the keywords, we have the actual definition. Okay. That needs to be executed as in we call that particular function. So let me just show you how we can do that. So basically we have this particular task, which will execute this whole steps, right? So instead of giving it in the task, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this whole thing up and I am going to paste it up in the keywords. Okay. So this is my declaration. This is my function definition. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do, I have the whole thing here. So I'll just uh, remove it from here. And this is my function. I have to call this function. So one more thing that I, that I have told you in the previous video is indentation, right? So under this particular task, we have multiple tasks that needs to be done. So what is the task? The main task here is to log in into application and to export results or something of that kind after filling in the form, right? So under the task, we have multiple tasks to be done, which is logging into application is one of such tasks. So I have my declaration here. So let's try to run it before to which I'll just comment this out. So whatever we have done previously, logging into application and, you know, clicking the button and all the same thing will be applying here, which will be the same. OK, so what we are doing, we are performing this particular task. Just save it and try to run it and see if this working as expected. So it has logged in into the application, it has clicked and it has passed, correct? So this is done. 
So once after we logging into the application, the next thing that we are going to do is downloading. Before I go in there, I'll I'll just roughly uh, you know summarize what we have seen because it's kind of little bit complicated if you are not from the programming background earlier. Okay, so mainly whatever we have write, wrote everything in the task that I have shifted in the keyword. The reason behind it is, let's say if you wanted to use uh, a function or the keyword that's already there, we can reuse it. Instead of having the same thing in the task, if we can keep it in the keyword, we have the ability to reuse just by calling it in the task, okay? We will see that example also in the future, but this is a general step-by-step -step approach. This, this you can consider for time being, okay? So first task is uh, the whole thing is to log in into application and to export results by filling into the form. That's the main thing. Inside that we have something called as logging into application. It's the first task. So in order to perform that we have to call it. Okay. Once after you call it, the control will be gone here. Okay. I'll show you how the control will also goes when I debug it. Okay. Before to which I will add one more task, which is downloading the Excel file. Okay, so now we understand where the calling has to be done, where the definition will be there. So here I will call it, okay, download the Excel file. Fine. So the same thing, I have to have the definition for it. So I'll have the definition of it here. So what it will be doing, it will, once after I call it, the control will come from here to here. So I have to write here something so that it will execute. So what it has to do, it has to download the Excel file. Okay. So just take the keyword download. So if you see here, the download is there in rpa.http. Okay. So you should have that particular library to perform this particular action called downloading. Okay. And what it actually expects. Whenever you take any keyword, try to take a minute to read through the definition of it. Okay. So if you see here, it has a URL. Okay. The URL is from where it has to download that particular Excel file. Okay. And also it has a target file. So what is the target file? Basically, if you see here, if there is a file name in the path, then that is used as a target file to save to. Like where the, um, you know, uh, the destination of the file has to be. Okay. By default, the file name will be downloaded.html. And here it shows the example it shows here. Right. And let me just, uh, we will see uh, one by one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just take this URL. Okay. This is my URL. Okay. I'm taking this URL. What we are going to do, just run this file and see. You know the shortcut, right? Control Shift P uh, for uh, command palette. Once after it goes there, just click on the run robot. Uh, you know, uh, the shortcuts are very important so that it will enhance the speed of the development. So if you see here, whatever the file that we've downloaded, it has saved in the name of sales data dot xlsx, right? So let's go over here and I have my sales data, right? This is the whole data. So once after that is done, the next thing is, let's say if I run my robot one more time, where is the task, task dot report? So let's say if I run it one more time, what happens? It's more like you have to keep on exploring what happens if I do it again. So will it be the same file or will it override or will it create a new file or it will fail or it will pass what, what it actually happens. You have to see. Okay. So if you see my file here. So this is the same file, right? So basically it's the same file. So we can't find any much of difference. It's the same file over here. So now what I'm going to do, I don't want my file to be here. Okay. I want this to be inside the output directory or in somewhere the destination I wanted it to be. So how you can actually do, if you see here under download, uh, you have something called as target file. So you can set the, um, you know, the path of that particular file. Okay. So let's copy this thing. Okay. 
So I wanted to save it to target file, which is this, uh, which is in the output directory. Okay. So I am going to save this file into output directory. And what is the name of this? So this I'll show you where we can actually set this output directory. Let me come to robot. Okay, so if you see here, we here we have output directory, which is output, right? So this is the place where the output directory path will be set. So if you wanted to change this to some other folder, just create the folder and you can change it there. And just come to task.robot. So I have my output directory inside output directory, right? So that's why we are appending it with a slash. Inside output directory, I wanted to save it into a particular file. So which is Excel dot excel assets okay this is the name i wanted to give so now let's run this and see before to which i will delete it so that you know it won't be saved into this particular uh, file again Okay, it's passed and we can see the Excel dot XLSX here, right? So this is how we can actually download to the certain location. So let's say if you are doing this on a daily basis and every time when you do this, the new file comes in. Okay, so in order uh, at that time, you don't want it, uh, you know, to add to that file or something or, you know, to copy of it or something. You want it to overwrite it. So how you can actually do that? We have a keyword here. Let me just show you that. Okay. You can just select overwrite and that value is true. Just, just set that value to true. Then you can actually uh, overwrite the uh, value that is uh, of the file that is downloaded. So this is it. Uh, let me just uh, show you how the control actually goes. Okay. I'll debug this, okay? Okay, so firstly, the control has come here. So we are in the task, login into application, right? So I told you once after it comes here, it will check for the particular task. So this is the task once after it comes, uh, when I do a step into, it will jump from here to the function definition and it will execute all of this and it will come to here. So what I'll do is I'll just do a step into. So if you see, it has come into the keywords, right? So this is how it actually works. So I will put a breakpoint again here and here. Okay. So I'll hit on continue. So if you see, it has come here. So now once after it executes, if I do a step into it will go here because this task has finished and it will go to download Excel file. Correct. And from here, the control goes to here, which is the definition of it. It will call this particular function, right? Perfect. And once after this done, the task is no more task is there here. So it has finished the execution and it will exit from that thing. So whatever you wanted to execute, you have to execute, keep it inside the task. So I think uh, it's it's pretty much clear. We have seen everything uh, and it's uh, step by step with respect to debug. I think I have given you enough understanding of how the task and the keyword works. So if you like the video, do let me know in the comments and also try it out uh, so that you will encounter the issues and you'll learn more better. So do like the video and also share with your friends. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.